Okay, so I literally just got back to the van. I finished up the last thing that I had to do today. Now it is time to just relax and chill and clean up. So right now the van, let me show you. The van is actually not, uh, that, there you go, that dirty. I mean, like physically, like dirt dirty. Yeah, yeah, definitely need to sweep. I just mean like messy, like clutter and stuff. It's actually pretty good. But then when I put all my stuff down, just, you know, just watch what happens. All right, and just like that, the whole walkway is filled and the van is a little bit messy. I kind of just, I have a bad habit of just throwing my stuff down, but only for like a second. I'm gonna pick it up right now. By the way, hey, hi. <laughs> Before I just jump right into cleaning up the van and, and showing you all that, let's let's have a little chat real quick. So what do we have going on today? I am going to show you guys my general evening slash nighttime routine. We're gonna go through literally all the stuff that I do. This is kind of like, so I've had a full day, I've worked, I've already eaten dinner, I've already kind of cleaned up the van from that, like doing dishes and everything. So then after I eat dinner, I'll usually go do something else until around this time. Now I'm back at the van, I'm here for the night. Not necessarily like at this physical location, just, I just mean like at the van, don't have anything else to do today because I am definitely gonna move to go to sleep. I'm not gonna sleep where I'm parked right now. So usually when I'm kind of like done for the day and winding down, the only things that I really have to do are like clean, prepare for the next day, and then shower, and that's pretty much it. It's really, there's, there's not a lot to it. The first thing that I will usually do is um, I use a planner. So I will take my planner and just kind of like fill in whatever I was previously doing because usually what it will be is that I was like working on something or I do a lot of like habit tracking so even if I was working out or you know pretty much anything I was doing there's something that's got to go in here as a result of that so that's pretty much where like my evening routine will start is I'll just kind of enjoy finally some downtime uh, where I don't have anything to do right now other than whatever I want. So it is, there's a nice breeze coming in, I have the doors open, and then I just will have my planner and kind of look over things and take a few minutes to myself and just relax. And just to show you guys, like here's a general overview of at least like my routines kind of page. I've got like my morning routine and then I'll, I'll normally have filled all of this out. And then I've got my nighttime routine like right here. I don't necessarily 100% need this anymore, but I kind of made this when I was developing a nighttime routine So this really helped remind me of like what to do. So like on the first Well, whatever you already saw it the first thing on my nighttime routine in my planner is like my shower and skincare routine but especially like in the summer because it gets a little hot I definitely like to pretty much shower and do my skincare routine last because when I clean up the van or get everything in order for tomorrow, then sometimes I get a little bit sweaty. So I definitely like to do showering is like the last thing that I like to do. So we are going to start with just cleaning up this little walkway because I just, I just threw all my stuff down, which is pretty typical. So yeah, can't have that. Gotta keep the walkway clear in case of emergencies and for sanity. Just like that the van is pretty clean when the only reason that this cooler is it actually goes right there but um, I'm putting you guys on this so I can talk to you and it's not a weird angle so there you go back on the cooler that is your seat so this is my seat now you can see my my umbrella um, just ignore that so now that the van is all tidied up for the most part I mean I definitely need to like sweep and clean the mat. That is when like you first walk in or whatever, but I'm not gonna worry about that today. Usually I do that like a couple times a week, but not as like an everyday routine. What I really like to do now is one, put my phone to charge. I have like a portable charger, so I'll do that and I'll leave my phone to charge while I shower. So two things here, one, how do I shower? I primarily shower inside my van. If I happen to be at a place where there are showers available, sometimes I'll take advantage of that, but I actually really enjoy showering. Like, 
in the privacy of my own home go figure so the second thing is that since it is still technically like daytime and everything i'm in a pretty populated area in a pretty populated parking lot there's lots of cars coming in and out of here and whatever and so usually whatever parking lot i am in at the end of the day like when i get back to the van where it's time to start my evening routine that is usually the place that i will brush my teeth shower use the restroom one last time if i have to i try to get all of my stuff done if i'm going to be moving around the van a lot as far as cleaning any kind of if i have to dump water just so that i don't draw attention to myself when i end up wherever i go to sleep on that note where to sleep, where I park to sleep. I've talked about that before as well, so I'll be sure and link that video. On the point of trying to do everything before I shower, two of those things include flossing and brushing my teeth. Okay, so real quick, we're just going to do that. I definitely don't need the whole bag, but I've only got one hand. Help, be right back. Oh, hey! Um, what was I saying? I don't know, I'm gonna brush my Oh yeah, I'm not showing like me flossing because that's unnecessary. Yeah, there's totally a lot of people driving by and I don't know if they can tell what I'm doing. Like my doors are wide open, so I don't, I don't know. And then I have water, so. And then I'll just rinse my toothbrush. Ooh, that water is cold. <laughs> so now that I have, well, this lighting is weird. Stay. Where are you gonna, are you gonna stay? Now that I've brushed my teeth and flossed, I'm going to shower. Again, I do shower in my van. Um, privacy isn't a big deal. I've got all of these window covers up and one, they keep it very cool. So it was nice when I came back just a while ago, but also like it's kind of falling off right now, but I'll just go push it in and then they go all the way around. And then to cover off the front area, I have a shower curtain. So be right back, I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> Okay, so I showered and I drove to the new place and the window covers are all down because I was driving. Now I have to put them all back up. So I have showered. I am all good to go. I didn't wash my hair, but it's all good. I will handle that another day. So now there's really not that much stuff left. In my video of five productive nighttime habits, I had talked about clearing the walkway. As you can, um see I think <laughs> maybe it's a little dark but the walkway is clear the whole weapon thing is taken care of I've got that in its place the keys I've got those in their designated spot bathroom if I have to use the bathroom in the middle of the night can you see my folder scan it is right there so basically i've kind of taken care of everything this is really the time when i will just kind of hang out in the van and relax i wake up pretty early so i by this time even though the sun hasn't fully set yet man i am i am tired i am ready to go to bed so again what i'll do is i'll just take my planner where's my pen Oh no, almost had a heart attack. It, it was behind me, everything's fine. So yeah, I will just take my planner and go through it. Um, it's kind of falling apart right now <laughs> because I'm in the middle of switching to a different planner. I will just end up back at what I showed you guys earlier and go over my nighttime routine for the day. Again, at this point in the day, I will have had all of this, like the extra stuff, like all of this filled out. The only thing that would be left was would be to check that stuff. So I'll just kind of tell you, well, I'll just like kind of read it off to you. Um, so shower, skincare routine, check. We did that. So I'll just mark that off. Floss, brush my teeth. I did that. I have Clarisonic on here because I have a Clarisonic and I do that um, a couple times a week, but I didn't today, it wasn't one of those days. I try not to do it too much. I don't wanna be like rough on my skin. So I don't have to worry about that. The next thing on my evening routine type of thing is 
to do. And basically what that is, is so since there's two days, I will um, just go to the next day and kind of look through my planner at all the things I've got going on, where I've got to be, what tasks I have to actually do tomorrow, and I'll kind of like fill that in and just plan my day tomorrow. What time do I have to wake up? What work stuff do I have to do? What personal stuff do I have to do? And then this goes back to the video I made about productive nighttime habits. This is kind of the time where I'll kind of assess my whole van setup situation and be like, what groceries do I need? Do I need to go buy them tomorrow? Like, am I running out of anything? Do I need to put gas soon? Just anything anything like that and then I will just make a note of it on the next day be like yeah maybe you should probably do this this and this next on that list is blow dry like my hair if I'm at the gym or something depending on where I shower if I have access to electricity and it's not a big deal so the next thing I actually haven't done this yet I need to prepare my clothes for tomorrow so honestly you really can't even see anything here I swear it's not that dark I'm be looking for clothes so I will just set those so you can just see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I will just set my clothes right there, whatever I'm going to wear in the morning. Oh, and also from my shower, there's my towel. It's drying right now. Okay, the next two are like, let me get this out of your eyes, my bad, my bad, bruh. So the next two things are pretty similar to, it's like prep clothes, prep food, and prep etc so yes saw me prepare my clothes prep food really is more of like like i said the kind of like the grocery list type of thing or if i'm gonna eat something that i could make the night before like if i'm gonna do oatmeal i can just add water and let it sit or i'll just like gather stuff together that i want to cook in the morning it just kind of depends i actually have like some leftovers that i'm going to be eating so i don't have to worry about that today and then prep etc that is pretty much this bag right here and this bag <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real, yo. So my planner is one thing that I will reorganize this, put all the papers away. And I will take this bag and I will kind of reorganize it. Right now it's like really jam-packed. But anyways, and then I will put this in here. So that bag and that bag are basically what I would consider prepping my supplies for like life. So my laptop's already in there. So I just like to get that ready, have it ready to go in the morning. Ooh, ooh it is getting, it is, it is dark now. It's definitely dark. Um, I'll try and wrap this up soon. Cause I don't really know how, how much longer you're going to be able to see me. I mean, these lights aren't going to die because they're fully charged, but, um, I don't know how bright they really are. What was that? Sometimes I do get scared when I hear noises. Not necessarily scared, I'm just like hyper aware, you know? Because I'm just like, who's that? What was that? Stay away from me, type of thing. I've never had like any real problems. Like nothing really scary happened. That's one thing a lot of people are like, oh, tell us all of the crazy scary things that have happened to you while living in a van. And it's like, I don't, I don't have any. I mean, and I'm very grateful that I don't. I have interacted with the cops once twice once i don't know i'm not sure but it, it was like super basic they were like you can't sleep here and i was like i'm sorry and they were like it's fine just go somewhere else so i was like okay so yeah not not very exciting stuff there anyways back to life and things the last thing on there is read so that's pretty much what i'll do or i will just kind of get ready to pass out so there's that fan and that fan. That one's open right now, but I will also open that one before, I guess I should, I'll just do it right now. So I'm gonna close these doors because I am about to go to sleep. And then also I will roll down the windows like the tiniest little bit. You know, you can't see anything, but yeah, you know, airflow and stuff. And then double check, make sure the doors are all locked and I am as safe as I can be. One of the last things that I'll do is I will 
man, I am weak today. Everything is, like, heavy. Um, usually, I will put one of these right there. And then I will put another one right there. The only other stuff that I have to do is pray, set my alarms for tomorrow morning, and then turn off these lights. So I will just go ahead and say goodnight to you guys now. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my pretty general nighttime routine. This can vary a little bit depending on where I am, like whether I'm in the city or I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere, or what time I get things done, or with what I have going on the very next day. But for the most part, this is it. So again, good night.